Hello, everybody. Hi, it's Emmy. I'm back. Um, these are sakura branches that I um, found at my farmer's market. Aren't they beautiful? So Hanami season will be here soon. It's Happy Kitchen Hambaga. Let's get to it. So opening the box. So just like all the others, it's like a placemat, so you can cut it on the top and on the bottom. And um, in this kit, it you make a hamburger, and you get to make French fries, and it comes with a cola. So if you get this kit, it's important to keep the integrity of this bag, because um, the bag is useful. You use it to make the drink label, and the French fry box, and the little flags for the hamburgers. So make sure you don't rip this, um, because you need it. It is the typical tray in many, many bags. You see, like a little shovel. And look at this. It's a knife. Knife. And it's serrated. A little cup for the cola. Looks like one of those kind of creamery cups. Pretty involved tray. And several packets. So the first thing they tell you to do is take scissors and separate these all into different pieces. So to make a potato, we're going to use this tray. Set these aside. A potato packet with two scoops of water. So add that in there and give it a good stir. Press the potato dough into one even layer. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's pressed into one even layer and now I'm really curious about what it's going to taste like. It smells kind of potato-y. So, I don't know, maybe this won't be sweet. But now we have... Mine got a little overcooked, so I put it in only for 30 seconds. So, if you guys make this, I would recommend putting in for 10 second intervals, even if your oven is 500 watt, because I think it's really easily overcooked. So, because mine got a little bit overcooked, I'm going to use a real knife and try to cut it. star on the bottom. That's your mixing tray. Um, Baga mix into there. One scoop and add that to the mix. And wow, it has it has kind of a bouillon -y flavor or smell. Press it. Okay, now to make the bun mixture, we're going to take this one called pan, pan no moto, and we're going to add it to the same mixing tray we've been using before. One, two. Bread batter, your pan batter, worked uh, mixed up. Then we're going to divide it equally between the two wells. up and the little patty um, cooked up. So I think this is going to taste savory because the patty smells meaty, <laughs> which is totally nuts. Use it. Cheese. The template. And we take this little cheese mixture that we've made like a cheese dough. So you want it to be the size of that rectangle. And cut that into two slices. <clears throat> For our soda cup, we just take this cup and take your drink label that you've cut out and you're going to just wrap it around here and tape it on. Take it on like that. Cute. Like that. On top of each other. I'm going to do a slight overlap, then stick some tape down. I'm going to use some yellow tape so you guys can see. And then you fold the bottom up and put another piece of tape like that. And then on this side, you'll have a little cute French fry container. Cute! What I would recommend is just taking some tape and just putting it on the end here. Like that. Over like that. See? 
pink package, which is ketchup no moto. Whoa, that smells like ketchup. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. So we stir that, set that aside. Now that they're cool, we take our knife and we carefully go all the way around the outside of the bun. We take the bun out. There's number one, so we want to cut there, cut them in half so we can actually fill our, our two bottoms and two tops. And now we want to cut the patty in half. And gently, 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 gently. There you go. So we have two buns and two patties. So add water to about a centimeter from the top, then you add your cola. Oh my gosh! Did you see that? <laughs> oh my goodness, it's fizzing! <laughs> that is so amazing! And it smells like cola! <gasps> that is so stinking cool! Alright, I'm going to use this to stir it. I, I'm, a, I'm at a loss for words. I don't know what to say. Oh my god, look at this. Can you hear it? It's actually fizzing. <sighs> this is cracking up to be like the best popping, cooking, happy kitchen experience ever. Ever. So awesome. Okay, I'm going to set my cola aside now. So cool. And let's fill it with our fries. So let's put our fries in there. Look at that, cute! French fries. And then we're going to put a patty. Slice of cheese. Top bun. Poke it in there. Like that. How cute is that? We're going to finish it with our little Coke. They are very kind of fry-like in texture and, and quality too, in terms of the way they look. Really surprising. Um, they're not doughy, they're cooked. And they smell like potato. So let's try it straight up. Mm. It's, a little <laughs> it's a little strange, but it definitely tastes like potato. It tastes like, um, you know, those freeze-dried freeze kind of potato snacks, kind of like Pringles. That's what it tastes like. The texture's not all that great. It's a little bit, it's kind of more hard than crunchy. Um, but let's try it with some ketchup. And that <clears throat> kind of vaguely tastes like ketchup. It's kind of got that sweet tomato-y taste, um, but it's a little bit more like Mm, bouillon-y taste, like fake kind of taste, than actual tasting like ketchup. But not bad. <laughs> not bad. Um, I have to try this Coke. I was so amazed by the cola. Um, when you add the, cola, the water to the cola, or the cola to the water, the powder, it fizzes. It's just like my candy beer. Go check out the candy beer if you haven't seen the candy beer. So let's try it. I have to... I'm dying. And it smells like it smells like cola, but it smells more like um like cola flavored gummies, you know, like those gummy things. So let's try it. Weird. <laughs> really weird. It's fizzy, but it tastes really fake. It tastes like um like those gummy the cola bottles. That's what it tastes like, fake cola flavor. Um, okay, now for the hamburger guys can you believe this so in japan oftentimes when you get a burger they like if you go to a place called like freshness burger they put little flags on them to keep your sandwich together so that's what this is but this says hk burger for happy kitchen burger so let's try it i'm gonna take this little stick out 
and <laughs> eat our little burger. Look how tiny. <laughs> it's the smallest burger I've ever had. Itadakimasu. Hmm. So it's weird. <clears throat> it's weird. The texture is really strange. Like the bun is kind of rubbery and it's a little bit sweet. But it's definitely savory. Definitely savory. It's not candy. Um, many of the other poppin' cookins are like the fake sushi kit. It's like candy sushi. Um, I think if they tried to make it like fish-like sushi, it would be really gross. So I can I understand why they want to make it candy. But this is savory. And look at that. What a cute little cross section. And it's not it's not bad for for something that you make in the. Let's try the bun by itself. So the bun doesn't have a lot of flavor. It's a little bit sweet. More rub Let's try the meat little patty by itself. That's really unusual. It's kind of meat-like. Um, it turns out kind of like a sausage-y. It tastes very much like beef bouillon or like, um, yeah, those packets that you get in really cheap ramens, you know, the beef ramen. It tastes like that. Rubbery texture, very kind of elastic, meat-like. And this cheese. Look at it, it even stretches. Crazy. <laughs> Tastes kind of cheesy. It does. Tastes kind of cheesy in the sense like like a cheese cracker, like a cheese it or something. So all of these things actually taste pretty authentic. And I like I said, I already tasted the ketchup, so that was that. So that's actually pretty good. So, so cool, I love it. This is my, I, okay, everyone always asks me like, Emmy, what's your favorite poppin' cookin' happy kitchen? This one, this one is my favorite. The other ones, you know, the sushi one was really fun, but it didn't taste good. But this actually tastes okay. It tastes pretty good for what it is. <laughs> like the tediousness, it's totally worth it. It's totally worth it to make a cute little french fry container. It's totally worth it to make a, a cola container and watch it fizz. Um, I found this for the time investment and for what you end up eating to be wonderful. So I highly recommend this one. So if you guys um, find, I just found it myself, so it might take a little while to find online. But if you see it and if you like hamburgers, um, try this. I think you'll think it's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I certainly did. That was a lot of fun. And um, yeah, happy spring to you guys. And um, I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.